up, compassionate people? Welcome to Vegan News. Let's dive right into today's stories. Vegan Birkenstocks are finally coming on the market. Really? So vegan men in their 40s can finally wear sandals with their socks. They already started selling the vegan Birkenstock sandals uh, on July 9th on their online stores in the United States. In Europe, vegan sandal options for Birkenstocks have been available for quite some time. And they've even received fashion awards from PETA in Germany. But this is the first time they've been available in the United States. So, yay? I don't know. I mean, honestly, they just look like a, a version of Crocs that somebody cut up and put belt buckles on. Mark Gurney, a vegan from Brighton, East Sussex, United Kingdom. I think I got all that. Holy. F has been used what was described as guerrilla tactics. He's printing out animal rights stickers and putting them on the packages of flesh and mammary fluids and ovulations and things in the store to bring awareness. I, I, uh, <laughs> I like the uh, headline. It says, Vegan plaster supermarket shelves with graphic stickers to guilt trip shoppers. Guilt trip? I mean, you should feel guilty. And if you're feeling guilty, then there's other options. Don't eat it. <laughs> Check out some of these stickers. The missing stickers for the mom and her, and her calf. She's missing her baby. It's like like uh, like they would put on the old uh, cartons of milk. The missing children, genius. The uh, Peppa the Pig one. I, I, Peppa the Pig, I think it's something British. I'm not 100 percent sure, but comparing the cartoon pig with the, uh, you know, probably uh, one of the pigs from Toronto Pig Safe. Although I would say I don't think it's a good idea to put uh, the stickers on the packages of flesh and mammary fluids or ovulations, but rather to put it on the shelves. The reason I say that is because they might throw away the the packages of the flesh and things just because of they could consider it tampering i've heard of this happening before where they actually uh, vegans put things on packages and the grocery store had no choice it was policy they had to throw it away because uh, they can't just take the sticker off a lot of the times when they do it tears the package and once the package is 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 uh torn or any of it's compromised in any way it's garbage so really we're if we do that we're contributing to creating more of the product and we certainly don't want to do that like i said this is a great idea a really great idea uh let's just not put it on the products i would love to be able to put it on the products but we certainly don't want to have the products thrown away creating more of this problem we're trying to end let's put it on the shelves next to it uh people will still get the message and see it out of his stickers, I particularly like the ones that say, this is vegan, and he's putting it on different products that are vegan, that, that people might not realize are vegan in everyday life. Uh, you know, like Ritz crackers or something like that. He uses Oreos in one of his picture examples, which is a huge argument amongst the vegan community, and we're not gonna get into it. That's not what this show is about. Uh, but I think uh, the whole, this is vegan stickers are a really great idea, and we should definitely do that. For sure. Uh, again, don't put it on the actual products. Maybe the display boxes of the products, but not the actual packaging itself. And finally, our last story of the day is a crappy one. 30,000 dairy cows froze to death in Texas during a freak, freak blizzard. Really, it's from climate change, which most of them don't believe in over there. They're saying that the mammary fluid losses, because that's what they're worried about, will affect production for about a year and will impact consumers in the area. Now... I don't know about you, but there's been plenty of news stories and evidence to sh that came out that says that that milk production is way overboard and that prices are sinking because nobody's buying it as much and there's a surplus. So they're full of crap, completely full of it. Now the real maddening thing in this article is at the very bottom of it. And like I always do, everything will be linked down below in the description, all stories and maybe some little extras along with the petition of the day. They are lamenting the fact that the poor dairy cows, dairy cows, uh, were not milked for two days. And oh no, when they're not milked for two days, they start to dry up. And oh no, for months to come after this incident, the cows that did survive won't produce as much milk until they rape them again. Seems like the only two things they are really upset about in this whole mess is less mammary fluids being produced and the burden of having to take care of all the dead bodies. Maybe if you had built them a fucking barn or maybe just not rape them and steal their babies and mammary fluids, maybe just maybe, they wouldn't be dead. That's it 
for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like if you liked it. Don't you dare hit that thumbs down button. Subscribe if you'd like to get more of this ugly face. And I'm forever grateful for everybody that watches and comments and gives me support. Thank you so much. Trekking through the great beyond. Look at your puffy tail. You like being down the woods, don't you? You want to climb the tree? You want to eat the grass instead? <laughs> you know where, do you know where you want to go? Which way you want to go? You want to climb the tree? Your truck's loud. Don't be afraid of the truck. Your tail's not puffy anymore. <laughs>